Greetings and welcome once again to STL Soccer Talk, the video edition. Uh, once again, I'm Tom Timmerman, joined once again by Beth O'Malley. Beth, hello. Hello. It's season. The season has begun. The there, season soccer, has there is a soccer game for us to talk about. The CONCACAF season has begun. The CONCACAF season has begun. The Major League Soccer season begins on Saturday. Yeah. Actually, the whole league begins on Wednesday night. Right. right. The Inter Miami and Real Salt Lake, because it, it'll be your first and maybe your last chance to see Inter Miami. Uh, this year, no, they'll only be on every single week, you know, whenever possible, they'll be an Inter Miami game. But they're um, kicking off the season. They are kicking off the season on Wednesday night. But, but back to City but SC. Back, back to City SC, which last night defeated Houston 2-1 to one in the first round of the uh, CONCACAF uh, Champions Cup in the first of the two-leg total goals series, yes. as, as the hip kids uh, like to call it. Uh, and which they let me do. But a big, uh, the, the story of the night, obviously, uh, Jose Kojima, the uh, first round draft pick uh, for City SC, who comes in in the 86th minute, scores a goal in the 90th minute to give them uh, a much needed uh, victory. Yes, it was, I was sitting not in the press box, uh, so I was able to cheer a little bit, but being in the crowd for that moment was really exciting. People lost their minds a little bit more than they usually do for other goals that City scores. It was great to see a player who clearly has worked hard his entire college career as a youth and to be rewarded not just with being able to play his first game, but then getting his first goal uh, in the professional league. That's really exciting for him. He was very soft-spoken after the game and he was clearly, um, I would say he was pretty moved by the experience. He made sure to mm -hmm. thank his previous coaches, his college coach. He called his mom after the game. So just a really mm -hmm. kind of sweet moment. Yeah, but one happy guy. He yes. was, you oh, can, he, he was, was very happy. He was very happy. Uh, and it was as listeners to the podcast and watchers of these videos, that I, I know, I've been saying throughout training camp that Kojima has looked very good in camp from his, when he started out in Port St. Lucie to all the stops in between. When he has gotten in games, he and the other draft pick, Brendan McSorley, mm -hmm. ha have showed really well. And certainly, you know, Kojima, solid reviews coming out of college out of Wake Forest. Um, you know, other players saying he's just an incredibly hard worker. He's an incredible student of the game, what's going on. Uh, you know, he's not a big goal scorer. He scored nine goals in four seasons at Wake Forest. Mm -hmm. He was, you know, a midfield in defense. but. When they needed him most, they got that goal because, uh, you know, it's not that they won the game, it's that they have scored more goals in the way the total goal series works. Right. Uh, they're up two to one uh, on Houston. They just need a tie um, next week, when next Tuesday when they play Houston. And there are even scenarios in which they can lose the game and still advance um, under the complex, under the road goals tiebreaker system. And we'll probably talk a lot more about that in the podcast. I believe we will, which would be one more reason to uh, turn on. Exactly. But, um, but, you know, maybe not a lot of offense in the first half. They, they, the city was able to get in deep, but then the last pass just was they, they couldn't get the ball into a scoring position right. after they got into a dangerous position. But then in the second half, they just kind of exploded and could have had and should have had probably another goal in there somewhere. Yes. You know, Sam Adeneron had, had four shots. They, the team had zero shots on goal, and on target in the first half. The goalie usually only didn't make a save. The second half, they, they, had, they had five. Mm -hmm. And other chances that you know, were, were dangerous uh, and, and missed. So they, they created some offense. They just couldn't get the ball to go in. Adeneron right. hit the post twice, I think. Um, and you know, some Houston's goalies. Houston's goalie, great. Steve Clark. I don't know if he physically can stand on his head, but he he in he did. He, he <laughs> metaphorically stood on his head uh, in that game. And now, and now they play a game, a real a real game. Not that that wasn't a real game, but another. They play an MLS game, game and their season game. opener on Saturday. On Saturday against Real Salt Lake, and then they will play on Tuesday in Houston. And you're going to have to see two entirely different lineups. In that game, the people that play on Saturday at opening night at City Park will not be, with the possible exception of Roman Berkey, be on the field on Tuesday in Houston. So this will be the big test. And you'll see when you see the starting lineup on Tuesday or on Saturday, you'll know who will be starting on Tuesday yes. in Houston because it'll be the other guys. Um, and, but Houston's going to be in the same situation. Houston is, will be at home on Saturday playing Kansas City, and then they will have to turn around. And, and Houston's taken some knocks. You know, they, they lost another player yes. to injury. They're down now three of their top offensive players um, you know, since training camp began. 
So they're they're in a they're in a tough place. Houston's right. coach did not seem to be relishing the idea of playing Kansas City and turning around and playing St. Louis again. So we'll see how those games go for them and see how St. Louis City does on Saturday. Indeed, we shall. Um, on that note, there'll be more about this on the podcast, which you can find on the same platform if you look carefully uh, or even casually. Um, and uh, until then, for next week when we'll have a, an opener to talk about, and actually we'll probably be recording Wednesday, I so we'll so. have actually two games to talk about on, uh, on next week's uh, video. Uh, until then, uh, for Beth, I'm Tom. Be seeing you. Mm -hmm.